What's up, Spurser Nation? It's your girl, Shell G. And today, I'll be showing you how I arrived at this look using these beauty brushes right here. This is Beauty Crush Cosmetics brushes. Um, if you haven't already checked out my last video where I did the question brushes versus sponges, um, I went ahead and picked up a couple brushes that complement the new powder foundation that Fenty just came out with. I did a review on it in my last video. If you haven't already checked that out, go ahead and click the link above and make sure you watch that video. I did get a recommendation to give these brushes a try, so I'm going to go ahead and get into that. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe, leave a comment, and make sure that you hit that like button if you enjoy the content. If you would like to see how I came up with this look using these brushes, keep watching. Okay guys, so as you can see, my skin is coming off a little uneven texture wise. You can see that my pores are a little large and uh, you can see that my skin is a little dull. So using a toner helps to even out the skin tone, reduce the appearance of pores, and just moisturize and hydrate the skin before applying any foundation or makeup to your face. So this is super essential in the process of applying your makeup. If you haven't tried this toner, it is extremely great and uh, it smells really good too. That's what I'm talking about. It makes your skin feel so refreshed with the watermelon. I absolutely love this stuff. Okay, so now that I've got my toner, so I'm just going to put a little bit of moisturizer. I have oily skin, but even though I'm using a powder, I still like to kind of moisturize my skin. Okay. Just make sure that's all set. Alright. So that's my moisturizer. The Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm going to go ahead and just apply the primer. Especially on my T-zone area. I like to also apply it on my lid. Just everywhere that I get really oily. Which is pretty much everywhere. So I, <laughs> I apply it evenly all over my face. I'm going to go ahead and set my primer. So I'm just going to grab a sponge. And this is the Laura Mercier setting powder. So I'm just kind of setting it everywhere where it gets super oily. If, you're, if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my application in the mirror. So I'm just going to go ahead and Oiling, which is usually like around the mouth. 
silence. And under eye area. Okay, so that's pretty much all set. I have some dark areas on my face, like around here, around here, that I'm gonna go ahead and conceal. I'll be using the Sephora concealer in the shade Bright Future. The color correct. to color correct around my mouth because it's really I find like more dark areas there just a little over here and over here Let's see anywhere else even like my under eye color correcting. This is not a part of the concealing just yet. This is what I'm doing. So you don't have to let this part sit. You can go ahead and just blend this out because what you're doing is you're just correcting the dark areas on your skin so that it blends evenly with the rest of your tone. Okay guys, so here's the tea on color correcting. To choose the correct concealer to use for the purpose of color correcting, you want to go with a concealer that is true to your skin complexion. So if you are a lighter shade of brown, you want to choose a concealer that is in the peachy orange shade. If you're a darker skin tone, you want to lean with a deeper orange concealer to conceal the darker areas in your face, ultimately evening out your skin tone blend out before I apply my foundation so I'm gonna use the shade butterscotch in the worn this way concealer and I'm gonna go under the eye you can do a lot with concealer this making sure I blend really well especially around the so there you go so that's nice and blended now I'm gonna go ahead and layer my concealer with my Kevin Aquan enhancing concealer To use a lot of this because as you all know Kevin and Kwan don't be playing no games so you don't need a lot 
and I love blending with this brush and rinse. Applying super duper easy. Okay. And this is the Kevin Kwan Concealer in the shade 13. Now this one I like to let sit just for a little bit. To really like work its magic. I see a couple little dips that I don't like, but that's okay. Next, I'm going to use Makeup Forever Concealer, and this is in the shade 4.3 Honey. I'm not trying to put too, too much in the corner. But I do want to put a decent amount. I didn't go super light. 4.3 is not that light, so. I'm trying to let it sit just a little bit. Press it into the eye area. And under the eye. And those dips in the cheek you want to really reinforce. In those areas. So it almost is feeling in the dips in your face. See that? See how it gets super cool together? Kind of like you had a facelift, but you haven't had a facelift. And here's what it looks like. And here's how the top looks. This is the Too Faced Translucent Powder in the shade medium. to be pick up and then tap as you can see and then be careful how you apply it so it's not falling all over the place take your time and push the translucent powder into your troubled areas of the eye especially to really suck all of that in and pull your eyes together. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I like to brush them out first. Brush them up and out. So, as you see, I'm brushing up with my little. This is an Anastasia highbrow pencil in the shade medium, but I'm almost out as you can see, I use this a lot. So once I kind of organize my eyebrows the way that I want them to be, you can use a gel 
over your eyes first, but I'm gonna go ahead and start the sculpting process first. So I take my pencil and I just begin to trace. Lightly trace the border of my eyebrow. Light trace and kind of push out a little bit. And then I take my pencil and I begin to brush off of the line to fill in the gaps in my brow. Once I get to this little area here where there's that the highest point of my eyebrows then I like to trace from the top down very see that and you can just fill that in and just continue filling in the brow then I keep moving forward as the brow starts to take form and I go lighter as I shade this area I kind of round off my shade and then I kind of like create another little line at the top just for the purposes of organizing it and then I just kind of like like to just create a little shape there now keep in mind I'm going to clean this up and it's going to look a lot better but I'm just saying this is how I like get the eyebrows in some type of form okay and just straighten it out so that it's shaped and the main thing is you just want to make sure that it's blended okay so that's one eye and I'm going to repeat the same on this side then we'll use our concealer and actually organize the brows even more. So this looks huge, right? This looks like a lot of brows. Keep watching. Okay. So as you can see, one is thicker than the other one. Don't trip chocolate chips. I'm going to go ahead and take my Fenty Concealer in the shade 385. And I'm going to go ahead and trace the brows. I like to use this color because it's very close to my actual eyebrow tone or shade. I'm going to do 
going to start high. And then go. This is how you can kind of cultivate your own shape. Okay guys, so clearly you saw that when I filled in my brows, I filled in one right. brow a lot thicker and bigger than the other one. This happens because I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> and so my drawing skills have never been up to par. But the beautiful thing about that is if you do make that mistake, concealer is your best friend. Just make sure that you choose a concealer shade that is close to your skin tone so you don't have that shadow effect. See how I have the concealer pushed out like in the middle of my eyebrows? I'm gonna actually take my brush and I'm gonna kind of sweep the concealer into the very front part of my brow to give it that lighter effect. in the front of my brow. Take a blending brush and then just begin to brush away. And I like to brush the lower part of the concealer down into my brow bone, almost like a base. Just make, that, make sure that you really blend out the brow bone so you don't see like a line under there. And there you have it. Okay, so can you see how the eyebrows are starting to take form? See, I told you I had it. <laughs> so now that I have completed the concealer uh, process, it's very important that you get a blending brush that uh, is small enough to really blend out the concealer around the eyebrow without really impacting the shape of the brow so just make sure you get a nice small eyebrow blending brush and you should be good to go you can take your brush i mean you can take your pencil and just slightly Slightly fill that in, ever so slightly. Okay. Okay. So now that we got the brows done, it's about that time to test out these brushes and see what Beauty Crush Cosmetics is working with. So the brush that I actually have in hand is a flat couture brush. The line or the collection that I picked up is their signature couture brushes. So I felt it would be a good idea to pick up these brushes instead of the softer ones because it is a pressed powder and I wanna see if it picks up product being a more dense brush. So let's go ahead and see how this performs.
apply the keep in mind this is 385 I really like the color with this brush it's not giving me that super orange look or super duper duper warm look but look at the coverage with these brushes looks like the coverage is improved not take me as long to go over my face. Go ahead and pause for the cause, y'all, yeah, for a little hair flip. <laughs> <laughs> so next I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Rose Latte. I'm just going to apply a little on my cheeks using my Beauty Blender so I can kind of control the pigment a little bit more. This is in the shade Perversion. I'm 
see. This is a sipping tea moment, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I need to concentrate when I'm doing my under eyes, so this is a perfect tune. Okay guys, so now we are halfway Mascara. home. Now we're just gonna go ahead and wrap up the look by finishing the eyes, applying the eyelashes. So for those of you who have issues or problems applying lashes, you may wanna stick around and hang in here for the last part of the video because I will be applying my lashes. And so yes, hang tight. Okay, ladies so comment below <laughs> if you struggle with applying mascara to your lash line the struggle has always been real for me and so I want to get the tea on if it's just me or if uh, you also struggle with that lower lash line <laughs> let it be known in the comments Next, I'll be trying the Glam Girl 3-in-1 Eyeliner Adhesive and Serum. Beautiful packaging, by the way. And here is the liner. Very cute. Looks like a little pencil. And so this is used as a liner. And adhesive. Hey ladies, so one thing I did want to so note, there are different versions of uh, adhesive that you can choose to apply your eyelashes. You have the application where you put the glue on your eyelash and allow it to dry down and then place it. This adhesive that I'm using is actually acting as an eyeliner as well. So you basically place the eyeliner as you would traditionally and it dries down very quickly, so it's easy to apply the eyelash. So you have the option to choose a adhesive that also acts as an eyeliner, and therefore all you have to do is place the eyeliner, or the eyelashes rather, on your, uh, on the lash line. Okay, so as you can see, I'm placing the eyelash strip directly above where my actual eyelashes lay. So if you notice, I'm not applying them directly to or on top of my eyelashes, but a little bit above where my actual eyelashes start so that the glue is not getting stuck to my real lashes. That's how you lose them. So you want to always lay the eyelash strip directly above your natural lash line. And that one is not going into where. But I do want to just go ahead and do my lips and I'll be using the Juvia's Place lip liner in the shade Cola and I'm going to be using the lipstick in the Peach Neutrals collection in Vogue. So let me go ahead and grab a mirror and we can get this underway. I'm actually going to try the lipstick first since this is my first I'm trying the shade out just to see how it looks against my skin tone without lip liner.
very bright. So I definitely will use a lip liner with this one as well. They're neutral, they're extremely pigmented, but it is a pretty shade. Now let me go ahead and use cola. ahead and just pop a little bit of bronzer into my crease just to go ahead and make the color a little uniform I'll also put some under my lower lash uh, line just to kind of bring the look together I like to kind of use different products for the same purpose it kind of brings the face together so yes that is definitely a go Okay, 
Alrighty gang, so this concludes our review of the Beauty Crush Cosmetic Brushes. I absolutely love them. I thought that they worked well with the foundation powder. And I think that they would work good with any foundation, to be honest with you. They're extremely high quality. So if you haven't already checked them out or picked them up, I would strongly suggest that you give them a try if you're in the market for good makeup brushes. So that concludes the review for the day. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and shout me out in the comments. Let me know what you thought about the review. And if you've tried these brushes before or if you plan on doing so, let it be known in the comments. And until next time, thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.